It's now on the Sunrise Morning Show is Richard Gazelle. He's Senior Advisor for In Defense of Christians. Richard, welcome to the program. Good morning, Anna. Thanks to be with you. It's nice to have you. And IDC Dean Till joining us has announced a virtual summit. First of all, give us the details of when and how people can tune into this. Absolutely. Uh, so the, the 2020 Digital Summit uh, will be taking place on Wednesday, the 23rd of September from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And for our West Coast friends, that's 4 o'clock uh, Pacific. They can register by visiting our website, www.indefenseofchristians.org. And on the top banner on the right side, it'll say 2020 Summit. Just click there and they can register to attend. And what sort of things will be uh, highlighted during this summit? Yeah, so the summit is basically uh, an opportunity for us to share the latest updates with our friends and supporters uh, and also to present future advocacy initiatives for the persecuted Christians in the Middle East. Uh, The summit will include a bipartisan group of lawmakers and government officials uh, as well as an ecumenical coalition of Christian leaders representing many Christian denominations. Uh, now, as he pointed out, this year will be a virtual summit um, due to COVID-19 measures, of course, but um, the event itself remains largely unchanged. And I'll tell you what, uh, Annie, we have a great program in store. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the initiatives that you all want to highlight. I mean, when you go and look at this list, it is pretty incredible what you've achieved in the past year. Certainly, yeah. So as you said, we will talk a bit about our achievements in the past year, uh, 2019 and thus far in 2020. The two biggest items uh, include uh, President Trump's executive order, which basically places religious freedom at the forefront of U.S. policy, U.S. foreign policy. And then, of course, uh, Congress's recognition last fall of the Christian genocide uh, perpetrated by the Ottoman Turks about a century ago. And that's just to name a few. Um, those are looking at our historic achievements. But uh, more importantly, this is a forward-looking summit, so we'll also be highlight- highlighting some ongoing initiatives and work that lies ahead in 2021. Uh, and if you'd like, I'd, I'd be happy to go through some of those issues this morning with you. Yeah, please do. Go for it. Absolutely, yeah. So. Really, one, one big thing that IDC has been doing is pressuring Turkey's rogue, uh, the rogue Islamist government in Turkey with respect to its mistreatment of its Christian minorities and also to bring an end to Turkey's campaign against the Syriac Christians in northeast Syria. We'll also be talking about House Resolution 49, which is currently in committee, uh, which basically um, this resolution seeks to ensure that Coptic Christians are treated as equal citizens under Egyptian law. And, of course, um, I'd be remiss not to mention the lion's share of our work over the past several weeks has been focused on the terrible events uh, currently unfolding in Lebanon uh, and the adverse, across, uh, adverse effects on the Christian population in Lebanon. Uh, so IDC continues to work closely with the U.S. government to provide humanitarian relief to the Lebanese people in the wake of the August 4th blast, uh, which took the lives, as you probably know, of over 200 Lebanese, injuring over 6,000 and leaving upwards of 300,000 homeless. And, uh, Annie, it's important to point out also that a majority of these victims and persons affected uh, by the blast uh, are indeed Christians, because if you look at you know where it occurred in East Beirut, East Beirut is a uh, overwhelmingly uh, Christian majority part of uh, part of the city. Um, so really, that's where our focus is. IDC has also been a leader in calling for political reforms in Lebanon as well. This comes at, after decades of reckless abandon and corruption by the political class, um, which really has left Lebanon in dire straits financially, economically, and also vulnerable to Iran through its proxy Hezbollah uh, in the country, which is really playing a, a nefarious role currently and for the past couple of decades. And I think it's probably important to note, too, that these are bipartisan initiatives that that you are talking about, because, you know, of course, we do have Election Day coming up soon. And so no matter who is holding office in Congress or in the White House, um, these these initiatives can move forward. 
That's absolutely correct, and that's the that's the beauty of our issue. Uh, not only it's one that's dear to our hearts, but also the fact that it is bi- bipartisan. Um, it's not divisive at all. Religious freedom, after all, is our first freedom as Americans, and it's also human right uh, as recognized by uh, by most nations of the world. So, really, this is something that brings us together uh, with our with our partners and supporters in D.C. and outside of D.C. Um, it's something we can all agree upon. Uh, just a matter of getting there. And how do you hope that this summit will spur even further action in defense of Christians around the world? Well, again, we're bringing, uh, for one thing, we're bringing awareness to what's going on, because while a lot of people may have some suspicion that Christians are mistreated in some faraway lands, we need to show them that, indeed, this is something very real. And in uh, more more locales than what is probably perceived, the uh, fact is that um, 80% of all religious persecution in the world is against Christians. We want to, of course, bring that to the forefront, but also um, not just bring awareness, but also spur action. Uh, We're very pleased to see, uh, in recent weeks, USAID Acting Administrator John Barsa visit Lebanon, uh, and also Assistant Secretary of State uh, David Schenker just last week visited. Uh, Both are very clear in their positions uh, that the U.S. stands ready to assist the Lebanese people, uh, of course not the corrupt government. Uh, So IDC really applauds their their position, and this is really what we want to add momentum to, initiatives such as these. Uh, not just on the Lebanese front, but also with regard to Turkey, Nigeria, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the list goes on, unfortunately. But that's what we achieve. That's what we seek to do. We've been talking to Richard Gazelle about the virtual summit for In Defense of Christians. And Richard, as we let you go, can you remind us where can uh, listeners get more information and sign up to uh, tune in? Absolutely, yeah. Once again, uh, it's on Wednesday, the 23rd of September uh, from 7 to 8.30 p.m. To learn more uh, and to register, you can just go to our website, www.indefenseofchristians.org. On the top banner on the, on the right side, you'll see Summit 2020. Just click that link and you should be off, ready to go. And you can find that link at sonrisemorningshow.com. Richard, really appreciate your time this morning and uh, hope that it's a successful summit. Thank you. Great to be with you. Thank you.